Hello everyone, myself Ravi Agrari and you guys are listening to me on the Academy online platform. This is the biology series for all examinations. I have already completed 8 lessons and this is my lesson number 9. In this part, I will like to discuss with you about the plant diversity portions. So, before going to start the lecture, I would like to tell you about myself. My name is Dr. Ravi Agrari. I am a director of Provincial IS. From last 20 years, I have taken classes for civil service examinations. Two of my books are published on the micro health. The one is on science I take and this second one is the environment. These books are highly recommended to all of you. This is my telegram channel. So I will advise to all of you regarding all the PDFs and the updates regarding all my video links and share there. My Academy profile you can see guys here you can find out my all the plus classes are part of this many special classes. My code is Ravi UPSC during joining any courses. If you guys will use the Ravi UPSC code. You will get extra 10% discount in your fee structure. Why an academy? This is the best option for all of you guys. Widest choices of educators, flexibility, chances, uh, unrated views of lectures, live mentorships. Even 178 plus toppers got select in 2021 under the guidance of an academy. India's best educator for UPSC, CSE, they are taking the classes on an academy at one platform. So it's a great opportunity to all of you to connect all of them under the like license. An Academy subscription plus an iconic both are available right now and kindly use the code UPSC and get extra 10% discount. Combo subscriptions are the plus iconic and a part of this extra 10% discount you will get on the optional courses. So don't miss it and join it as soon as possible. This is a biological science plant diversity is a topic and now I'm going to discuss with you about the whole structures. If I ask you guys overall the plants if you'll go the studies. So first of all, I'll tell you a very simple way to define the plants and their own understanding. This is the plants. Those are divided into two groups. The other studies you can go on the basis of flowers, fruit and seeds in two groups. The plants are divided into two groups. The one is in cryptogamous plant and second is on phenogamous plant. Now the question is, what is the meaning of cryptogamous plant? All entire world plant, I'm telling you guys, all entire plants are even defined on the basis of flower, fruit and seeds. The cryptogamous plant where the flower, fruit and seeds are not available and phenogamous plant where the flower, fruit, seeds all are available. In the case of cryptogamous plant, those plants where the flower, fruit and seeds are not available, which group of plants are coming there? Then the answer is fungi, answer is algae, answer is bryophyte and answer is terrophyte. In the case of phenogamous plant where the flower, fruit, seed present, they are gymnosperm and angiosperm. Here I will tell you gymnosperm and angiosperm as a higher plant, as a higher plant. But the fungi, algae, bryos and all they are lower plants. So in this way you people can also categorize the plants as lower plants and higher plants. So again I repeat, cryptogamous plant, in which plant have a no flower, fruit and seed, then the answer is fungi, algae, bryo and terophyte. And which plant have a presence of flower, fruit and seed, then the answer is gymnosperm and gymnosperm. And gymnosperm and gymnosperm is also called as a higher group of the plants. Actually some terminologies are very important for all of you regarding the plant diversity. And the one of very important terminologies thylophyta now the question is what is the meaning of thylophyta thylophyta are actually those group of the plants which plant body is thyloid what is the meaning of which plant body is thyloid thyloid means these plants have no roots no stems and no leaves so a very interesting concept a plant without root leaf and stem yes and here if you see the example guys fungi are them algae are them bryophytes are them bacteria are them and also one more example is the lichen Lichen, it was a UPSC question in 2017, around. in 2017, UPSC asked 2017, 18. Lichen is an association of, the answer was fungi and algae. Actually, fungi and algae is two different group of the plant, as you can see guys. Even they belong to the thylophyta, but fungi and algal association, they form the lichen. Lichens are ecologically very, very important. What is the feature of lichen guys? Actually, fungi is, if you see the fungi guys, fungi, the ones that I am telling you, fungi. And second, I am telling you, algae. Fungi are heterotrophs in nature. So heterotrophs means they are not able to synthesize own food material. But algae are autotrophs. The so algae will provide the food to the fungi guys. Algae provide food to the fungi. And fungi provide a shelter to the algae. Fungi provide a shelter to the algae. In this way both plus and plus associations and both survive there. And lichen have a lot of benefit as a food we can use. As a fodder the cattle can use. It, it has a medicinal values in cosmetics a lot and even even one of the uh, one of the information i'm telling you guys do you have the info uh, idea about the uh, uh, litmus paper litmus paper you know in the school time we have to use to check the ph and all the litmus paper also developed with the help of lichen this is called as rosella the lichen have a lot of things even in the case of zero seal 
in the case of zero shear succession in the case of zero shear succession lichens are what lichens are the pioneer lichens are the pioneer the first time in the zero shear areas the dry areas before having a diversity a vegetation the first time which kind of organisms came so that answer is a lichen a lichen is an indicator of air pollution that is also very very interesting concept lichen are the indicator of air pollution against sulfur dioxide gas so lichens are the indicator of air pollution against sulfur dioxide gas this is also very very common topic even very important question for an examination now one more information guys uh, plants have also some more features like vascular bundle are conducting strength vascular bundle are conducting strands have two components i am very sure in the school level you read it the one is the xylem and second is the phloem guys what is the use of xylem water translocation what is the use of xylem water translocation water translocation actually you know what what xylem is doing plant roots are taking the water and then through the help of xylem it will disperse everywhere guys with the help of with the help of what roots plants absorb the water and water will go everywhere into the plant body okay and what is a phloem phloem here the leaf part is synthesized of food material and after the food synthesis the you know the food will distribute everywhere into the plant body so water translocation is what water translocation is the xylem and the food translocation is what food translocation is the feature of phloem now the question is in which group of the plants xylem and phloem absent are vascular bundle absent then the answer is thallophyta then the answer is what thallophyta so kindly remember this guys now come the another one is called fungi the another one is a fungi fungi is group of plant you already know very well study of fungi is actually called as a mycology study of fungi is actually called as a mycology and which one is an indian mycologist professor k c mehta the great scientists have a lot of contribution in fungi that his professor k c mehta even in the case of fungi have some similarities like to animal type fungi is other plants but have some similarities like to animal type what are the similarities their outer wall is made up by chitin chitin is what chitin is the kind of uh, chemical compositions that is available in the animals but in the case of plant that is cellulose but what you got the fungi fungi the outer layer is made up by chitin second one fungi as a reserve material is a glycosan there but you know very well guys glycosan is actually in the animals and in the case of plant body the reserve for material is what reserve for material is what it is it is it is what it is a starch reserve for material is what that is a starch you should know there guys fungi is a heterotroph reason they have no chlorophyll and this is the reason it is also the another similarity with the animal okay and and the similarity with the animal but plants have a chlorophyll and that is reason they are autotrophs so these are the similarities with the animal i hope you guys have no issues here and that is very very interesting this question may be confusing but important here you will see like some of the applications of the fungi what are the application of fungi some of the fungi is those are edible you can see on the screen mushroom as a garicus gucci as a makela gucci you know it was a upsc prelims question paper in 2021 also okay gucci is and makelas they are protegeous gucci will find most of the himalayan areas many of the areas in the himalayas you know you will see the presence of gucci's they are highly proteinaceous and proteinaceous diet increase your what stamina immunities east another example of uh, fungi member that scientifically is called as saccharomyces cerevisiae responsible to make various of the food item for the buffering purpose of idli and dhokla first antibiotic penicillin noted it was it was used for the development of penicillin okay the fungi was a penicillin noted and the name of the antibiotic was penicillin it was developed by alexander fleming for this purpose he got the nobel prize those fungi used for the genetic research is called neurospora rhizopus is also a rhizopus or mucor you can call is also the fungi those are destroying the food items and leather so it is so poisonous also sometimes some of the fungi which are poisonous and sometimes in the edible food items it comes and it is responsible to kill the human being also toad stool that is technically called as amanita and toad stool is what it is a locally called as these are lot of the fungal diseases those happen to the human being a list you can see tinea pedis athlete's foot tinea corporosis ring worms yeast infection oncomycosis tinea vesicula and tinea cruris so these are the various diseases and all the diseases even caused by fungi in human being so those ring worms you know the ring worms daad khat khujli you know that all the diseases even also happen because of fungal diseases now we'll go to the next in the diversity that is called algae algae is the study of algae is called phycology indian phycologist professor mop ayanga see guys one of the algae is which is highly edible even those people are going gym and try to increase your stamina they are eating the spirulina guys spirulina is a proteinaceous 
aquatic in nature algae are very specific feature algae never grow on the land algae are only growing in the water bodies and every type of water body is fresh water and marine water fresh water you can see on the continent continent and the marine water you can see in the oceans everywhere have a presence of algae they are different in colors different colors you must be know due to different types of pigment system red snow in the nature sorry red sea in the nature is because of trichodesmum erythra it's a red color of algae is already available inside the red sea and water is transparent that's why from the distance if you see the water body it's look like a red color so why the red sea is red due to presence of a red color of algae inside the water body that name of the algae is a trichodesmum erythra red snow type of feature you can also see somewhere and here the reason is one of algae that is called chlamydomonas nivellis same feature inside the rock inside the you know ice snows you will see the presence of red color of algae again the snows are transparent and the snow look like red color very beautiful color some algae are even used for the bio fertilizer bio fertilizer means increase the productivity and here the best example is what nostoc enabina oscillatoria and they have they have nitrogen fixation ability why so because they have very specific structure that is called heterocyst and heterocyst is responsible for nitrogen fixation and all some the algae are parasitic in nature what about the parasitic cephalros verisens cephalros verisens is a parasitic alga even you people know very well alga is never parasitic but this alga is, is is what that is parasitic okay and see this is responsible to cause the red rust of now you come into the another group that is called bryophyta bryophyta are also called as a amphibians of plant kingdom a few people can ask me what is the meaning of amphibians amphibians means they are growing in the plants and sorry they are they are growing in the on the on the water and even they are also on the land so this type of feature just like frog 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 also have a what amphibian the same similar conditions here guys so land and water both the example of bryophytes rickshia markensia pallia porella pocoanotum and sphagnum mosses you know the kai those you can see on the wet walls slippery surfaces these all are actually the group of bryophytes tetrophytes the another groups tetrophytes have mostly ornamental purposes carries dipteris ferns ferns are generally called this bryophytes are generally called as a fern mostly will see in the ornamental purposes inside the gardens you know in this areas these tetrophytes are very very common now you go into the gymnosperms actually gymnosperms and angiosperm have some features gymnos means this is naked angio means this is covered and sperm term here represent as a seed so those seeds which are naked and those seeds which are covered what is the meaning of naked and covered actually you know the out outside of the suppose this is the seed this is a seed outside of cover have a what it is a called seed coat this is called seed coat if seed coat present coat seed coat present then it is called covered and if the plants have seed no no seed coat then it is called naked the gymnosperms are those group of the plant where the seed coat absent and angiosperms are those group of the plant that will be the next topic of discussion they they have a covered seed the angios have a covered seed seed coat present there and in this group of the member those i am discussing you right now they have a they have a no seed seed coat seed coat absent gymnosperms are actually mostly growing in the temperate areas temperate areas hilly areas the availability is about even uh, even in sorry the temperature even still is is somehow cold there what is the important gymnosperm list you can see on the screen sagopalm is one of the gymnosperm always popular it's a cycas revoluta chill goes as a dry food i hope you guys know very well it is available in the market pinus giardia taxus is one of the plant its bark is have a, having a taxol chemical which we people use in the case of anti cancerous medicines a red data book here iucn published guys red data book published by iucn and in this red data book taxus name is given that it means this plant is very very less in the nature the cricket bat that we people are developing you know sachin tendulkar virat kohli those they are playing this is a salix arvillo and this is a kashmiri willow and this kashmiri willow also belong from gymnosperm member you know the very beautiful examples christmas tree we are celebrating 25th december the christmas tree is what it is a araucaria columnaris so what is the scientific name christmas tree araucaria columnaris here you will see some important gymnosperm plants what are as some of the gymnosperm used for the food here the cycas jingo pinus needum these are the plant those seeds are edible guys stem of cycas revoluta is good source of sago starch jamia is the the gymnosperm it is rich source of starch seeds and the stem of cycas revoluta used for making wines so for alcoholic purposes various of the gymnosperm used in the gardens for the ornamental purpose in the park and the best example is a cycas those people are using for decoration purposes jingo biloba is possess beautiful ornamental leaves very very beautiful you know long leaves thuja pinus taxus they are also growing in the parks as a as a 
ornamentals. Even some gymnosperms have a medicinal values. What about the medicinal values? The Psychers sarcinalis and Daxos. They have a medicine. Daxos, I told you, as anti cancerous. Pollen grains of some of the, you know, some of the gymnosperm members are narcotic effects. Oil of juniperas are very, very important. Ephedrine is, you know, is developed from, uh, uh, is obtained from the ephedra plants and those used in the case, uh, case of the treatment of cold and cough. Anti cancerous drug, I told you, that is Texol. It is developed from the bark of the Texas. Even the gymnosperms, you can see for the industrial purpose, Spruce and Picea, even it is a source of pulp wood. Wood of juniperas is making a pencil, scales, and holders. So, it's friends, the kids are using. Bark of larynx is used for tanning purposes. Turpentine is being developed from the Abyss Balasemia. And wood of red spurs is used for the various type of music industries. You know, in that way, guys, gymnosperms are very, very important. So now at last I'll tell you guys this is my telegram channel where you can go and download my all the PDF and regarding all the video links you people can also connect me here. My academy profile and academy.com Ravi Piagri 2010. Here you can find out my all the plus classes. A part of this many special classes also available here. Special classes are free for all of you. So kindly join me and enjoy this. My code is Ravi UPSC during joining any courses. If you use it, you will get extra 10% discount in your first structure. My courses of science and environments are running now and the next of my course is going to start from the 10th September for the environment. It's a bilingual batch and the 10th November, it's a, it's a science and technology for 2023. So don't forget to join it guys. It is newly new batch and highly updated. And I just, you people know very well as around one lakh students, they are, they are reading my books minimum in, the, in India guys. And after it now, the same courses I'm going to brought here. So in that way, the book you take and listen to me guys and here 30 to 35 questions are coming in your paper easily you people are able to solve 20 plus a part of agriculture i'm taking on an academy so these all the topics does a very very confusing and most dynamic subjects you people can connect me right now on the plus courses with the ravi upsc code so my phys uh, even the physical notes are going to be iconic only offering soon 26 august is the last date uh, before if you are going to subscribe the channels you uh, subscribe the you know the courses upsc csc batches the next is going to start from 25th august here the 20 gs booklet you will go you will join get started at zero percent emi facilities and academy is giving you here the loan facility you can also get it Next, an academy combat. Don't forget the combat, guys. 28th August it is. Here are 50 questions on the 60 minutes you must have to get. Uh, you will you you must have to give and uh, around up to four crore of scholarship you can get it. So kindly use it. Don't forget 28th August 11. CSCS is the option if you are going to buy your courses. Purchase even two years and above subscription, so you will get that get SCSC Azure options. Here the extra year subscription an academy will provide you in the case of your requirement and Ravi UPSC is my code don't forget to use it during joining any courses and this is my contact number if you want to connect me regarding any kind of call any kind of discussions so you can call me directly 7825860259 so thank you everyone kindly subscribe the channel like and share this video download this PDF and don't forget to fill this icon the reason is even for the future notifications you people can connect me here thank you everyone god bless you take care meet you soon in the next class another part thank you Jai. Thank mm -hmm. you.